Hey, what's up? It's Madra Ball. I'm Nate Adams. This is Adam Jones. I'm Robbie Madison. Hey, this is Bill Co. And we're in Russia for the third round of the Red Bull X Fighters World Tour. Be sure to check it out. It's gonna be awesome! A bloody river. That's right, guys. For the first time in Red Bull X Fighters history, the tournament has landed in the world's largest country, Russia. Red Square hosts the largest course so far for what promises to be the hugest competition yet. The first round of the six-stop tour began in Mexico where there was rain, but a worthy winner with Andre Villa taking the top spot. And in Cairo, under the gaze of the pyramids, Adam Jones took the victory. When it comes to competition, these riders are the gods of FMX, but they're people too, and we want to find out a bit more about the men behind the motorbikes. The relationship between all the riders, it's, uh, it's far from sexual, which is a good thing. Uh, I'd say we're all friends, yeah. for sure. Kind of like a tight-knit family away from home. We can battle with each other, but then still be friends afterwards. <laughs> Uh, funniest guys, obviously. Bill Carr. Just always busting someone's balls. Adam Jones. Definitely out on the moodiest. He's uh, really happy and having a great time. <laughs> or he's really angry. Okay, get this <laughs> fly out of my face. Let's do the thing right here. Most focused is for sure, Nate. I've never seen anyone so focused before they go out for a run. As soon as he gets here, you know, he's out scouting the course, walking it, checking out the line. When it comes to showtime, he's got his game pace on. It's kind of hard to wipe off. When it comes to competition day, I'll just, you know, just put me race face on. Friendship starts. During practice, the rider's favourite funny guy, Bilko, was taken out of the competition when he landed badly. He suffered a broken collarbone and luckily he's recovering well in hospital. The quarterfinals got off to a thrilling start with Nate Adams, Levi Sherwood, Ago Sato and Andre Villa all performing outstandingly, taking their place in the semis. Of the eliminated riders, Robbie Madison had a heart-stopping near miss. I was definitely nervous going out there and there's a lot of key things to remember when you're doing a seat grab flip and I just I just yanked too hard pretty much. And beaten Cam Sinclair thought he'd end in style. I wanted to do a double, double backflip again but I thought I'll let my bike do it but I'm not going to do it. I'll, I'll, I'll just go see and see what happens. Into the semis where we saw Nate face off against Ago. Nate went huge. And when Sato failed to land his tricks perfectly it was Nate who took the win. The second of the semi saw Levi the Rubber Kid pull out this immense kiss of death flip. And a promising start for Villa turned it into a nightmare when he forgot to raise his flip levers. Right there, that's Levi took the win. I forgot to put my super flip levers up for the backflip shoulder on the second jump. So then I did a heel clicker flip and then I started messing up and changing tricks. So. And then it was time for the final. Nate was up first, and after a great start, the notoriously perfect rider ended with a disappointing run. Just really couldn't pull it together. I didn't feel that off. It was just wasn't really happening for me, and I messed up in my final run. All he could hope was that Levi would feel the pressure. But it wasn't to be, as the riders and crowd were treated to this spectacular moment. There was no doubt as to who was going home as 